On this channel, we talk a lot about the future of game playing AI agents being reinforcement learning. However, to transition to a world where we can use RL in real life games, there are many sub problems that we need to take care of first. One such sub problem is that it is very difficult to make a generalized AI that is good at playing more than one game, even if the game genre is exactly the same. For example, if we train a bot that is excellent at driving a car in Gran Turismo, this bot will not perform very well on other car racing games like Forza Horizon or similar with the games FIFA and PES for the football genre of games. This means for every game, we need to train AI agents from scratch, which is not ideal because the current RL algorithms are not very sample efficient and they take a lot of resources to train. This is why today I want to cover a review paper from the robotics world which could also be applied to solve our problem in game development. It is titled Crossing the Gap, a deep dive into zero shot sim to real transfer for dynamics and is published by Robotics Lab at Imperial College London. This paper focuses on various techniques that are used in robotics research to transfer a trained model from a simulation to real life. The problem here is that various robot and environment dynamics like friction of surface, wind resistance, speed of robotic arm etc are ever so slightly different between the simulation and real life, making it difficult to successfully transfer a model between the two. This means a robot arm that performs well in simulation may not perform well in real life due to these differences in dynamics, which is very similar to our problem in game AI development that I stated earlier in the video. It seems one of the better approaches to train robust RL policies is to introduce variations and randomness during training time instead of adapting the learned policies at deployment time. By adding small randomness to the environment dynamics, the RL policy learns to generalize well due to the added noise and works much better when transferred to real life. Similarly, adding random forces to this environment also seems to work just as well, if not better, than tweaking the simulation dynamics. Something similar should be done when training game bots on a particular game. By tweaking parameters like reaction time of our agents, we could build a more generalized game AI that can also be transferred to other games of similar genre. Something for me to try out in the future.